Good everybody, welcome to today's video. This is Jerry from Backcountry Ranching, and today's video, I need to make some meals for work. I usually cook a roast or pork, smoke something, cook something, but this time we're gonna smoke some chicken thighs. We're gonna try something a little bit different. And this is gonna be a quick and easy project, probably no more than a couple hours. If I put the smoker on like 220 degrees, cook them to like an internal temperature of 165, 170, it shouldn't take that long at all. At least not what I hope. So this is the smoker that I'm going to be using. It's a master built. I picked this up at Bass Pro quite a few years ago and it's worked out pretty good. And I'm going to pull all these trays out first. We might as well get the smoker outside this way. We can prep the chicken while the smoker is heating up. So I picked these chicken thighs up boneless earlier in the week. And I'm gonna tell you right now, $29 is quite expensive. I'm pretty sure a couple years ago, it was like half that. And for wood chips, I'm gonna use these black cherries. Picked this up at Cabela's probably a little over a month ago and I got them soaking in water. So basically, how I'm gonna do these smoked chicken thighs is that I'm gonna sprinkle them with olive oil and then I got some brown sugar I'm gonna sprinkle on them that's gonna give them a glaze and then you're gonna use whatever kind of spices you want so I'm gonna use kicking chicken gonna use Greek garlic and herb red pepper and I think that's gonna turn out great put them in the smoker for however long it takes I got this pizza pan that I'm gonna prep them on so let's get these out of the package and set up Got my pan here because it's going to be messy, so I'm just going to go around, pour a little bit of olive oil on all the pieces. Now if you have a brush, that would be great too. I'm just going to use my finger to spread the oil around and that will help keep everything onto the chicken. That's the land, brown sugar. That's going to give the chicken a nice glaze as it's smoking. You can almost taste it. Almost. There we go. There we go. And for all your spices, whatever you desire, Be liberal, get some Greek on there, garlic and herb, and then if you want, you can rub it in, but the olive oil kind of already acts like glue to keep everything stationary got them all inside wait for the temperature to go back up to add wood chips like I said before, I got my wood chips soaking in water. I find soaking them in water makes them burn slower. And I find it gives it a better smoke. That being said, don't ever put the wood pellets in water because they will expand, fall apart, and become a mushy mess. Only soak wood chips in water. 
I figured in about 10 minutes or so that'll be back up to temperature and since it's only going to be a quick smoke probably no more than a couple hours I'm assuming I'm only going to use one little batch of chips I think that'll be enough temperature says it's already back up I'm gonna wait 10 minutes so 325 before I put the wood chips in As soon as you stick it in, you can see the condensation start going on the glass. And make sure my smoke is almost shut in about five minutes. And I'll be smoke, but right now, it's super humid in there. That is gonna taste so good. I can't wait. Gonna add the wood chips pretty quick. really see it now it's been over an hour I think we may be done need to get the temperature probe and check for over 165 degrees we're done cut my oven mitt here pull this thing out So it was at 220 for just over an hour and we are probably under 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I just had the thing read enough Celsius so I cranked it up to 250 and I'm going to go for another half hour 45 minutes. The weight is real so Made myself a Caesar. If you're American, you have a drink that's similar. It's called the Bloody Mary. Except we use Clamato juice. And I like it spicy. Got some pickled beans in there. Oh yeah. This was one of these items I purchased at Cabela's that was do I need versus want and it turns out it is way more handier than I ever thought. Finally smoked and looking good. Get my lunches made. Three boneless chicken thighs. I had some rice, vegetables, and a can of condensed mushroom soup in there to give it some flavor so let's try one of these bad boys out see if it's gonna be worth it let's try this one here now the thing with smoky meats is it's hit or miss it's either you've done it good or it's gonna turn out like crap let's figure out how this is gonna be Mm. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. The brown sugar. Yep. That's pretty decent. I'm not going to end up throwing it out. Anyways, it's motherfucking Caesar time. Spicy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.
If you have any suggestions what to smoke next and how and why, leave it in the comments below. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.